NASA leader Rayla Odinga has accused President Uhuru Kenyatta's Jubilee administration of masterminding a radical draft bill proposing the creation of a powerful prime minister than a ceremonial president to serve for a single seven-year term. Rayla, his three co-principals Kalnzo Musioka, Wiper, Mazalia Midavadi and Senator Moses Wetangula, Ford Kenya, said the bill sponsored by a Jubilee-leaning deity MP Kasset Komkut, KANU is part of electoral injustice NASA wants dismantled in Kenya. However, Jubilee leadership in a statement by National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Duell on Wednesday disowned Comgut's initiative and any links to the ruling party. That the bill has a chilling resemblance to others that have been implemented in the region, notably in Uganda and Rwanda where the seven-year term presidency has been introduced and is a pointer to the thinking in Jubilee on the direction elections should take in Kenya going forward, Rayla said in a press statement. They asked Kenyans especially their supporters to treat the proposed law as a sideshow and an attempt by Jubilee to scuttle the coalition's quest for electoral justice which entails critical reforms in various institutions such as the Electoral Commission, the police and judiciary. The MP, Comgut, is a mere agent of vested interests and the forces of impunity that NASA is keen to dismantle. The changes NASA is seeking are contained in the BOMA's draft constitution. The BOMA's draft contains cures to the problems of inclusion, strengthening of devolution, the shape of the executive and security sector reforms, Rayla said. The adoption and implementation of those changes will have to be consultative and people-driven and not an exclusive affair negotiated in Parliament, hence the need for a national dialogue on the country's future. The Parliamentary Budget Office on Thursday said Comgut's proposed the Constitution. Amendment, Bill, 2017 will cost taxpayers SH 20 billion if it proceeds to the referendum. The office, however, warned that taxpayers stand to lose the sum if the bill is defeated in the referendum. The budget office also revealed that the country will incur an additional SH 2 billion to fund the executive to run two offices of deputy prime minister while lowering the cost of the 2022 and subsequent general elections to SH 33.7 billion from SH 45 billion spent in 2017 polls. NASA leaders raised a concern over the country's state of the economy especially the runaway debt burden caused by overborrowing and the Jubilee administration's delay to disperse county funds. They demanded for national dialogue to address the problems. NASA is deeply disturbed by the inept handling of a knee-jerk reaction by Jubilee to the problems facing the country notably the drought, the escalating destruction of the country's water towers and the refusal by the National Treasury to release funds to the counties, Rayla said, the growing national debt, borrowing spree and the persistent failure by the Kenya Revenue Authority to meet revenue collection targets because of the poor state of the economy while Jubilee maintains an appetite for spending money it does not have.